Gypsy Rose moves on quick because she's back with her ex-fiance, Ken, and they also got matching tattoos. Did Gypsy Rose Blanchard leave her husband, Ryan, for her ex-fiance, Ken? Gypsy Rose Blanchard was spotted out in public with her ex-fiance, Ken, at a tattoo parlor just four days after the announcement that she and her husband, Ryan Anderson, have separated. Gypsy Rose is back in the headlines, and this time, the drama surrounding her is on another level. From basically announcing her divorce from her husband, Ryan, to then going on and hanging out with her later, Gypsy Rose has the whole internet going wild right now. Now, get this. Gypsy is saying that the reason she split with Ryan is because he became really mean and borderline a with her. However, Ryan is saying that Gypsy left him just to get together back with her ex. And did I mention Gypsy got plastic surgery after going back to her ex? Girl, this Gypsy Rose drama is messy. So let's get into it and figure out what is really going on. Now, we are all aware of Gypsy's whirlwind romance with her now estranged ex, Ryan. Gypsy and Ryan met while Gypsy was still in prison. Gypsy used to receive hundreds of people. Many were from people wanting to know her story after seeing her docu-series, and others were guys trying to make their move. However, out of all these letters, Ryan's seemed to stand out to Gypsy. Ryan, a teacher from Louisiana, and Gypsy, who is also originally from Louisiana, hit it off almost immediately. They exchanged a couple of letters, and next thing you know, they got married in 2022. Fast forward to four months ago, when Gypsy got released from prison, the couple met each other IRL for the first time ever, and it seemed like all anyone could talk about. Y'all, the couple were everywhere together, doing interviews on social media. Gypsy was so in love with Ryan that some people on the internet got jealous and even started throwing shade at Ryan. This made Gypsy come out and stand up for her man. The two even announced that they would be doing another wedding ceremony to celebrate their love and in an interview with people magazine gypsy said we do plan on having a reception slash redo wedding with all of our family and friends and the dress and cake and everything because we deserve that i deserve that he deserves that our prison wedding was just something to where we can make our vows to each other it was something that meant something to us and i think the party is kind of for everybody else and us but mostly everybody else gypsy rose went from serving in prison to serving on the internet okay she is clapping back at people that are sending hate to her husband ryan letting everybody know his D is fire. What a time to be alive. She says, Ryan, don't listen to the haters. I love you and you love me. We do not owe anyone anything. Our family is who matters. If you get likes and good comments, great. If you get hate, then whatever, because they don't matter. Gypsy continues on to say, I love you. Besides, they jealous because you are rocking my world every night. Yeah, I said it. The D is fire. Happy wife, happy life. Gypsy Rose said, Alexa, play Nivea. Don't mess with my man. I know that's right. Go on, Gypsy. Get your man, girl. Loves nothing seemed able to stop their romance. Well, that's until Gypsy recently came out to announce a shocking split from Ryan just four months after she got released. Gypsy announced the message on her private Facebook account and she said, people have been asking what is going on in my life. Unfortunately, my husband and I are going through a separation and I moved in with my parents' home down the Bayou. I have the support of my family and friends to help guide me through this. I am learning to listen to my heart. Right now, I need time to find myself, to find who I am. So Gypsy's friend Nadia spoke with People Magazine and according to her, Gypsy had an extremely heated argument with Ryan. Allegedly, Ryan was screaming at Gypsy and got all up in her face to the point where Gypsy was afraid that Ryan was going to hit her. And given her past with her mom, Gypsy was really afraid. So she locked herself in the bathroom and a relative had to come pick her up. Once she was in a safe place, she called her lawyer to begin the divorce proceedings. I guess instead of the D being fire, the D is now fired. See what I did there. And all seriousness, y'all, I saw this coming from a mile away. I'm surprised they lasted this long. I won't go as far as to say that she never loved Ryan. I feel like more than anything, she just wanted some romantic companionship, especially since she was locked up in prison for nearly a decade. Especially since she wasn't able to have much of a love life beforehand due to her controlling mother. And then when she did get into her first real relationship, we know how that turned out. Could you imagine seeing either one of their profiles on a dating app? That would send me all the way into orbit. Now, here's where the drama gets interesting because as you know, there are always two sides to a story. And according to Gypsy's side of the story, after her release from prison, their marriage was 
wasn't all that great. Gypsy even told her friend Nadia that throughout her marriage with Ryan, it was like she was on a leash. Gypsy allegedly said that Ryan became very insecure and controlling after she left prison. Gypsy felt like there was no difference between getting locked up in prison and being married to Ryan. Loves, even Gypsy's dad was skeptical of their relationship. Gypsy's dad, Rod Blanchard, had in the past expressed his concern. Rod wasn't a fan of Gypsy moving in with Ryan right after she was released, and this didn't sit well with Ryan. Y'all, according to People Magazine, back in February, Gypsy and Ryan took a break from filming their upcoming reality show, and they decided to go and visit Gypsy's family. This visit allegedly caused major issues in their relationship and even led to a huge fight, leading to Gypsy wanting to spend some time apart from Ryan and instead just stay with her father. Okay, here is where the whole drama becomes juicy. Get this. After just announcing their divorce, Gypsy was seen hanging out with her ex-fiance, Ken Erker. Loves Gypsy and Ken first got into contact while Gypsy was in prison back in 2018. Ken had just seen the HBO documentary about Gypsy and decided to send her a letter. Just like with Ryan, the two quickly hit it off and became friends. Gypsy recalls having long phone calls with Ken as if they had known each other for years. Ken took their friendship to the next level after his first ever visit to go and see Gypsy in prison. Gypsy recalls their first ever encounter as being the most wonderful kiss she has ever received. After that, Ken opened up to Gypsy about the feelings that he had for her. Gypsy and Ken ended up getting engaged in October of 2018. However, it didn't last very long. According to Gypsy, they took a break in 2019 to focus on themselves, but when they resumed their relationship, the romance had already fizzled out. Anyways, now the two seem to have reconnected again. After announcing her divorce, Ken came in to visit Gypsy from Texas, and the two ended up getting matching tattoos that were designed by Gypsy's friend, Nadia. According to Nadia, the tattoos signify a strong bond between Ken and Gypsy. Gypsy was allegedly looking for friendship while things were rough in her marriage and happened to reconnect with Ken. However, people seem to think that there might be more going on between Gypsy and Ken. This is because after getting matching tattoos, people seem to be spotting Ken and Gypsy everywhere now. However, Ken has come out to deny that there is any romance going on between them, but in her docuseries while she was still in prison, Gypsy Rose said this to Ryan, her now ex-husband, while they were on a call together. I had a dream about my ex, and in that dream, I left you for my ex. I'm sorry, I know that there is a part of me that still has love for him. Now, you can interpret that statement from all those years ago however you like, and tell me it is just a coincidence, or was Gypsy low-key telling Ryan that she was going to leave him and go back to Ken one day? Anyways, now Ryan's whole side of the drama. So, according to Ryan, he was completely blindsided by Gypsy wanting a divorce. While Gypsy is saying that she ended things with Ryan because he became overly jealous and controlling, Ryan seems to be of a different opinion, which is that Gypsy left him so that she could get back together with Ken. According to Ken, the thing that has shocked him the most besides the divorce is that he had no idea that Gypsy still had such strong feelings for Ken. Loves, some think that if, and this is a huge if, if Ryan's version of the story is to be believed, then he should have listened to Gypsy during that call. I mean, she did categorically tell him that she dreamt that she was going to leave him for her ex, and less than four months later, after she got out, some might argue she followed her dreams. But the thing that is making the drama break my heart is that back in January after her release, Ryan and Gypsy adopted a dog called Pixie. Pixie is a cute little Shih Tzu pup who is now most certainly going to be in the middle of all of this divorce drama because Ryan is the one currently taking care of Pixie, but Gypsy has also expressed her desire to get Pixie back, and obviously Ryan has come out and said that's not happening. He's, uh, she is with Ryan. I gave her to Ryan, like... I didn't want to uproot her from everything that she knows, so she loved Ryan more, so I let him keep the puppy. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's where the puppy is. I swear, if that, that is probably one of the most questions that I had where they were more worried about that puppy than they were anything. Now, according to Ryan, despite what Gypsy is saying, she made no attempt to hide her romance with Ken. They have been out and about together, even getting the matching tattoos, and according to Ryan, that isn't just friendship. He thinks there is most certainly more going on, and Ryan isn't the only one with this opinion. Just look at these reactions from people who are just baffled by all of this drama. She needs to stay single and figure out who she is and learn how to cope with the real world. I mean, this is her first 
real experience of freedom. Gypsy says they're just friends, but they got matching tattoos one week after she announces separation and Kenny Boy breaks up with his girlfriend and flies out to be with Gypsy. BTW, Gypsy is now blonde. Kenny prefers blondes apparently from what his mom says. It's so funny because people get married and divorced all the time, but no one talks about it because it's not in the public eye. She's doing what a lot of people have done. She just happens to be in the public eye. Knowing how Gypsy grew up, it makes sense how someone who didn't get the chance to develop strong attachment skills would bounce from one person to another so fast. It makes perfect sense why she would attach so fast to someone who shows her an inkling of attention and care. This is a cycle that she'll continue until she gets the mental help and skills she needs to put an end to it. I know from experience, it's hard work, but you can do it. Gypsy Rose broke up with her fiance and tattooed her ex's Ryan Anderson. Yes. Well, you know, I, I was asked just to, 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 to speak on this. She wants to ask Jesse Rhodes. I hear you, sister. I called this months ago that she, the guy was going to be out of the picture. Um, with the second show, so getting back into herself. She has been under the watch of her mother since she was a kid. That she was under the watch of the prison of the prison guards in prison for the last 10 years of her life. The last thing she wants is to be under watch of a man right now. She wants to have a hot girl summer and live her life. She wants to feel feminine. She wants to feel like, feel her. It's not that she can't do that with her husband, but she wants to play the field and actually be out there. She was never allowed to be sexy before then. She was never allowed to be, express her femininity or express herself in any way as a child. And in prison, you don't have an option to do that. And now she's out there. She wants to uh, experience all this. And she doesn't want to be tied down by an older, not 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 say anything about to, to, to you, Ryan, but it's like a boring kind of a man. Like she doesn't want to be like locked down in the house. He was she a wants kink. to go out and do things. She was a kink for him. Anyway. Rumors surrounding Gypsy and her ex seemed to just be everywhere, and Gypsy decided to put an end to all of them as she went live on TikTok for the first time with Ken. On the live, Gypsy insisted that they were just friends, and about the rumor that she might be pregnant with Ryan's kid, she quickly shut them down, saying that she was even on birth control. On the other hand, Ken seems to be really showing up for Gypsy. He even reportedly spent time with her right before she went into surgery for her nose job. Gypsy has been wanting to get work done on her nose for a while now, and it's seemed like the perfect opportunity. For a long time, Gypsy has allegedly been of the opinion that her nose wasn't feminine and she wanted to change that. Loves, Ken's mother came out to show her support for Ken and Gypsy's friendship. Even Gypsy's family seemed to be fans of Ken. Gypsy's cousin Bobby believes Ken's relationship is pure, unlike Ryan's who Bobby seems to think he only reached out to Gypsy for a dare. In a statement to People Magazine, Gypsy's cousin Bobby said, Gypsy realizes that Ryan isn't great and she gets out of it. She's obviously in love with the first guy Ken you know that's who she's been hanging out with she obviously loves him hey everybody I just want to say thank y'all for the support and the and the nice messages I've been getting from people uh, I'm at a friends watching Wrestlemania right now it's great I'm enjoying it you know I've been a wrestling nerd for a long time you know I just want to thank everybody for the support it's been great uh, I'm just living my life guys uh, y'all will see what really happened on Lifetime, uh, we were filming a lot, so stay tuned for that. And I just want to thank everybody for the support. Uh, if you support me, follow me. I will post more stuff eventually. Uh, I'm just, just hanging in. I just want to say thank y'all to everybody and, you know, God bless. Y'all, we definitely haven't seen the last of this divorce drama, and I have a feeling that a lot more stuff will come up, especially after Gypsy's new reality show comes out. But what? do you think about this whole mess? Whose side of the story seems to be the actual truth? Let me know your comments down below and don't forget to check out my other videos to ensure you are up to date with all the latest tea. Till next time, bye!